Let us look at one more example of uh, integration by trig substitution. So the question is integrate 1 over x squared minus x plus 1 dx. Now to make this a perfect square, uh, I'm looking at the coefficient of x, which is negative 1. Okay, now to complete square, what you do is you do the half of the coefficient of x. So the half of negative 1 is negative half. And negative half squared is a quarter so as I have added a quarter you have to take away quarter now by doing this this will become a perfect square and this can also be written as a perfect square okay <clears throat> now this is one take away quarter is three quarter and this is x minus half the whole squared now I want a one year I want a one the reason being I want to do a trick substitution I'll come to that later so if I want a one year, I, I, I have to divide this by three quarters. So I have to also divide this by three quarters. So in the denominator, you're dividing the denominator by three quarters. So this, the denominator's denominator will go to the numerator. So this, when this three quarter goes to the numerator, you've got this four thirds to counter that three quarter. So basically, this step and this step are the same okay so by doing this the next step this is this becomes one this whole thing three quarter divided by three quarter is nothing but one and this writing this as a perfect square because this is already in a square uh, writing this as a square is square root of three over two the whole squared now this whole thing can be written as a perfect square of this because this is a square and this is also a square so this can be written like this. Now I'm going to do a trick substitution. I'm going to take this whole thing, the inside of this bracket as tan theta. So making x the subject. So I have multiplied this by 3 quarters, sorry, root 3 by 2, or cross multiplying whatever way you understand. So x minus half is root 3 over 2 tan theta. So making x the subject, so x is half plus root 3 over 2 tan theta. Okay, now integrating both sides, sorry, differentiating both sides with respect to theta, dx by d theta is root 3 over 2. The differentiation of tan is 6 squared theta. Okay, so now writing, uh, so dx is equal to multiplying both sides by d theta is root 3 over 2 6 squared times d theta. So what I'm going to do in the next step is this whole thing will change into trig function. So this can be written as this dx is nothing but root 3 over 2, 6 squared theta, d theta. Okay, so that's what I've done. So this is what, this is where we left. This, we started the trig substitution here. So I've rewritten this here. So root 3 over x minus half over root 3 over 2, the whole squared plus 1 changes to this trig form, root 3 over 2. Now this is a 10, this is 1 as it is, and dx is root 3 over 2, 6 squared theta, d theta. Okay, now this is, a, uh, this is a constant, so that can be taken out, and that's what I've done, root 3 over 2 is taken out, so 2 goes in 4, 2 times, and this root 3, this, sorry, 3 can be written as root 3, times root 3 and so this root 3 and root 3 gets cancelled so what is left is 2 over root 3 the 6 squared theta and 6 squared theta gets cancelled and so you have got root 3 2 over root 3 times integration of d theta which is theta uh, but what is tan theta tan theta is this x minus half over root 3 over 2 so that's what I've written. So tan theta is this. So simplifying this, you get this. So theta is tan inverse of 2x minus 1 over root 3. And uh, so putting the value of theta is uh, root 2 over root 3. 2 over root 3 in place of theta, you can put tan inverse of 2x minus 1 over root 3 plus c.